I have to be honest, I am not sure how to evaluate this comparison right here, so I decided to challenge other channels I follow, other bodybuilding channels on YouTube to cover this comparison as well. I sent these pictures you guys are watching right now to them personally through Instagram DMs, but if you are a bodybuilding channel and I have not contacted you yet, please reach out to me on Instagram at the supersetman and I will send you these pictures personally. I am intrigued to know how others perceive this comparison. What do we have here? We have Samson Dauda and Andrew Jack, the new bosses in town with their 2023 Arnold Classic physiques. We also have Nick Walker but with his 2022 Mr. Olympia physique where I believe he looked better than at the Arnold. We also have Hadi Chupan and Derek Lansford from the Olympia. They are basically the two best bodybuilders in the world, number one and number two at the Mr. Olympia 2022. At the 2023 Arnold, Nick Walker was somewhat of an outlier sandwiched between two taller bodybuilders. However, when we include Hadi and Derek in the conversation, Samson and Andrew now appear to be the outsiders because the other two bodybuilders have more similarities to Nick. Furthermore, all three of them are more conditioned and more massive pound per pound than Samson and Andrew. We have two basketball player like bodybuilders who possess aesthetic physiques while on the other side we have three smaller bodybuilders who are more shredded and more muscular relative to their frames. It's difficult to determine a clear criteria in this scenario. In the front double biceps pose, at first glance Andrew appears to be the most impressive due to his tattoo-esque structure and the commanding presence, however he is the skinniest bodybuilder on that stage, pound per pound. Also at first glance Nick could be relegated in the last place in this pose due to his frame in contrast to the others, but he actually has the best uh, guns and the best biceps by far in this pose and this should count for something in the front double biceps pose. He also hits this uh, variation of the pose where he looks a little bit more like the other guys. He fits in better in this lineup like this probably. Samson and Hadi are the most complete. They have decent arms and great tapers. Samson is taller, he's dwarfing Hadi in this regard, but Hadi is more muscular and more conditioned. Derek presents the best shoulder to waist ratio, the best X frame, a beautiful vacuum, but has probably the weakest arms. Without a clear criteria, it ultimately comes down to personal preference. However, having so many variables in the equation, this could be summed up to who has a bit of everything. So in this regard, Hadi and Samson would be the front runners. However, placing Derek or Andrew outside the top two in this pose seems a little bit unfair, right? For the sake of this comparison, I'm going to rank all of them in all poses, so for this pose I would have it like this. Hadi first, Samson second, Derek third, Andrew fourth and Nick in fifth. This seems pretty reasonable to me. Front lat spread pose. Nick unfortunately is last again for obvious reasons and in fourth I would have Derek Lansford. He lacks muscle density in the chest and shoulder areas in spite of having a great taper. Between the other three guys, Heidi finds himself in a difficult situation standing between the two taller and more imposing guys. He feels a little bit like a Nick at the Arnold. I'll have to admit, Hadi used to look more impressive in this pose in the past. Maybe this pick was not taken in the right moment, but as he looks right here, I would probably have him in third. Andrew would run away with this pose if it wasn't for his lat imbalance. I really hope it was just a cramp and it's not a permanent injury, it would be a shame. For this reason though, he falls short to Samson, who wins this pose in my opinion. Side chest pose and Nick Walker gets his retribution, this is his pose to win, he's thick, he's got the needed chest fullness, he's got the best arms and shoulders, he's got the lower body and he is also in great condition. In second I'm going to have to go with Samson Dauda, aside from Nick he's the most well rounded, he's got the best chest, together with Hadi, Hadi has the lower body but Samson dominates him upstairs.
Heidi battles for third with Derek, who surprises me in this pose. I was not expecting him to look this good in the side chest, giving his weak chest. However, third place goes to Heidi, so fourth to Derek and Andrew gets last place here in this pose. His side chest needs more work. Back double biceps. In this pose is between the three shorter yet more muscular guys. And between them, Hadi falls short. He was holding too much water in the back uh, this year, or at least at the time this peak was taken, because we all know that Hadi got better and better as the show progressed. Anyway, here he doesn't get more than third place. Between Nick and Derek it's tough, both have great backs, details, insertions, everything. Derek has incredible uh, detailed glute development which shows his unbelievable conditioning, yet this pose goes to Nick Walker in my opinion. Nick is more complete through the limbs, having a comparable back, so he gets the upper hand. Andrew Jack gets 5th place again, as I believe Samson edges him out with uh, superior overall muscularity. Back last spread and again Samson and Andrew are 4th and 5th, these peaks speak for themselves. Now between the other 3 guys, Hadi comes back with vengeance after placing only 3rd in the back double. I believe both him and Derek beat Nick Walker in this pose, who looks great but is noticeably more narrow. Between Hadi and Derek it's pretty close, Hadi is thicker and wider through the back but he's also holding more water through the upper body. I'm leading more towards uh, Derek Lansford in this pose. Side triceps and just like for the side chest pose, I believe Nick Walker is pretty untouchable. He's got the best triceps and on top of them, he's uh, just filled with uh, thick muscle everywhere. The side poses are his, no doubt. Samson and Derek battle for second place while Hadi and Andrew battle to avoid last place. Between Hadi and Andrew first, Andrew definitely has an execution problem. I don't really like the way he holds the pose, but he has Hadi beat at the tricep department. Andrew is also more imposing due to his overall size, so I'm leaning more towards him. Between Samson and Derek, Derek has the lower body, but upper body, Samson has him beat. It's close, so again, the bigger guy gets the upper hand, Samson gets second place. Abs and ties and Andrew Jack is first. This is not the best moment for him in this pose and he still looks the best. Andrew is just untouchable in the abs and ties pose. Hadi Chupan is a pretty close second in my opinion. He may not be as aesthetic as Samson or Derek but he's got rock solid and separated abs plus the best quads in the lineup. This is Nick Walker from the 2021 Arnold Classic. There was not a good picture with him from the Olympia or the 2023 Arnold in this pose. Nick battles Derek for third place, but I'll have to go with Derek in the end, especially because of the taper. Samson Dauda falls uh, last in this pose. In spite of his great flow, he's got the worst looking abs, which are a pretty glaring distraction for him. Last pose is the most muscular. Again, when it comes to thickness and muscularity, Nick Walker reigns supreme. Nick is the best by far in this lineup in the most muscular pose and he is closely followed in second by Samson Dauda who looks round and full but he's a little bit softer than Nick. I would have Andrew Jack in third in spite of his uh, thin arms. Heidi and Derek are just not good in this pose. Hadi's shoulders and triceps look almost atrophied while Derek's chest disappears in this pose and on top of all he also looks too washed up through his entire upper body. Hadi is 4th and Derek 5th in the most muscular pose. So when we draw the line after dealing with all 8 mandatories the results look like this. In 5th place we have Andrew Jack with 30 points, a pretty distant last place. 4th place finisher is Derek Lansford with 25 points. For 3rd and 2nd we have a tie, 2 guys got 22 points while the winner of this comparison got 21 points, so a very close top 3. Without any further ado, the winner of this comparison is… The Mutant Nick Walker, he aged out both Hadi and Samson by one single point. As for Samson vs Hadi, it is very interesting. I did a one-on-one -on -one comparison between the two a few days ago, find the link in the description if you're curious to see it, but 
In that comparison, Samsung emerged as the winner. In bodybuilding, there are uh, never ties for uh, one spot. So based on the overall flow and also based on the one-on-one -on -one comparison I did before, I have Samsung Dauda in second and Hadi Chupan in third in this comparison. Do you guys agree with these results? Let me know in the comments below. Also remember, if you're a bodybuilding channel, reach out to me on Instagram and I will send you these pics so you can do your own analysis. Marks Max Muscle already answered my challenge, let's see if others will, will follow as well. Until then, make sure to like this video for the algo, subscribe so you won't miss my updates, thank you and see you next time.